affordable options. And with that, I'll uh, turn it over to Chris Michelle, the CEO of the Downtown San Diego Partnership. All right, thank you, Jerry. Um, I'm Chris Michelle, as CEO of the Downtown San Diego Partnership, and I'm also co-chair with Mark Cafferty of the Business Alliance for Water, a group that represents small business around the region. As business people, we certainly recognize the unfortunate irony of San Diegans who are using less water, but are having to pay more for it. But we are also aware of another reality, and I think this is important. Ratepayers are going to have to pay either way. So let me say that again, ratepayers are going to have to pay either way. We can pay today, and we can receive desperately needed infrastructure upgrades into our pure water system, and also an increased water supply, or we can be required by the federal government to go to secondary and get nothing for it. So that's what's before us today. Either way, we have to pay. And the question truly is, do we wanna get something for it or not? This increase is both reasonable and justifiable, and the revenues will be used to support the greater reliability of water ultimately helping us to avoid higher costs in the future. No one likes to see costs rise, none of us do, especially when we see our, our lawns going brown. But it's a given, there is no other responsible alternative. So on behalf of the business community, 